Now that YouTube Shorts have been rolled out worldwide for a while now, you may be wondering how it compares to TikTok and Instagram Reels, and which is better for you to grow your audience on. Hey everyone, I'm Becca, and in this video, I'm going to take you through each short form platform to work out which is best for you. Let's begin with TikTok. Being the most downloaded app of 2020, it would seem obvious that this is the first place you would begin making short form content. TikTok started by only allowing users to upload videos of up to 15 seconds long, sort of like a newer, longer version of Vine, if you're old enough to remember what Vine is, that is. They then extended video uploads to 60 seconds and more recently, three minutes. They also recently announced that they are gonna be trialing five minute and 10 minute video uploads. Personally, I believe that one of the reasons why TikTok is so widely loved and is so popular is because most of the content is under one minute long. Would you really be willing to watch just one 10 minute TikTok compared to all the TikToks you can watch in 10 minutes? Let us know in the comments below. The algorithm determines who will see your content and it is very important about who interacts with it within the first few minutes of uploading. This could be commenting, liking, rewatching the video several times. Any of these interactions means that your video will then be sent out to more people. It it is really easy to gain views on TikTok, especially if your videos are only a few seconds long, because the chances are your video will be replayed several times. On the other hand, gaining followers on TikTok is a little bit more difficult. Users may only see one video of yours on their For You page. If they like it, they might give it a like and a comment, but the chances of them actually clicking on your profile to watch more of your content and following you is pretty slim. Also remember that users are shown the For You page once they first open the app and not their following page. So even if you do have followers on TikTok, they may not actually see the content you upload because they are watching the For You page and not the following page. Personally, I stick to the For You page and I rarely actually look at my following page. Are you the same? Let us know in the comments below. Also, now is probably a good time to let you know that we do have a TikTok account. I'll leave it linked in the description below or you can go search for us, which is at Veed Studio. So make sure you go follow us for content creation tips and social media updates. One downside to making content on TikTok is that if you want to download the video and upload it to a different short form content platform, Form, such as reels or shorts, then it actually adds a TikTok watermark to the video. This can be rather distracting on the video, so you may not want that, which is why I personally film my short form content in reels. Earlier this year, Instagram announced that it will no longer be a predominantly photo sharing app and instead will focus more on video. So it would stand to reason that you may want to get ahead of this change and begin making reels as soon as possible. I prefer to make my short form content on reels itself because it means that you don't actually have a watermark like TikTok does. I also find it easier to add text to because I think we can all collectively agree that TikTok make adding text to your videos rather difficult. I also really like that Instagram have the align feature where you can match up and align your face or an object to match the previous clip that you had filmed. So if I just film something here and you can see my face on screen and then click this button here and press align, you can see that it has this image of me and I can line it up to about there and start recording and it will be the same as it was in the previous clip. Also, just a quick reminder to follow us on Instagram so you can watch our reels and the account name is at Veed Studio. A downside to filming in reels is that when it comes to editing, you can't rearrange and refilm the clips like you can do in TikTok. However, I can suggest Veed as a great editing tool to help you edit your short form content online. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to go check it out. Gaining followers on Instagram from your reels seems to be easier than gaining followers on TikTok and also is more important to have followers on Instagram. This is because when users open up the Instagram app, they are instantly shown the posts of people that they follow. Like I said earlier, TikTok shows you the for you page rather than the following page. So having Instagram followers means that they will see your content more. Also, in Instagram is the most likely place you can make money from your short form content. As well as the CEO announcing that they will be more focusing on video content, they also announced that they want to encourage more in-app spending and are creating ways for creators to monetize their platforms better. With the new link feature on stories and the shop tab, it is definitely easier to make money on Instagram compared to the other two short form platforms. Since filming this video, Instagram announced that creators can specifically make money just from Reels. Reel bonuses were trialed over the summer and have now been extended to the end of 2021. The Reels Play bonus is now available to US creators by invitation only and the amount you can earn is based on the performance of your reels. Instagram hoped to extend this feature globally in 2022. They also announced that Facebook Reels has now officially launched in the US. So let's briefly discuss this as well. Facebook Reels. On Wednesday the 29th of September 2021, Facebook slash Instagram announced the launch of Facebook Reels in the US. 
Since it is a brand new short form content platform, there will be a high chance that you can grow rather quickly on it. So if you are based in the US and have access to this feature, I would recommend getting ahead of others and testing it out whilst you can. It is available on iOS and Android devices and has the same tools as Instagram Reels. Facebook Reels can be found in groups or on the newsfeed, and when viewing a Reel on Facebook, you can easily follow the creator directly from the video. They are also testing the ability for Instagram creators to have their Reels recommended on Facebook. In this test, a small number of Instagram creators will see an option to have their Reels recommended on Facebook. The choice to do this is completely in their control. Facebook Reels is also part of the Reels Play bonus, where just like on Instagram Reels, creators can earn money from making this type of short form content. This is also invite only and still only available currently in the US. I will leave a link to the full blog post made by Facebook in the description below if you are interested in learning more about Facebook Reels and if you are based in the US and have access to this feature, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. And finally, let's move on to YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts originally began in India because the government had banned TikTok. However, several months later, they expanded globally. You can upload videos of up to 60 seconds long, which is the same amount of time as Reels. Just like TikTok and Reels, Shorts have the option for you to use filters and a green screen effect. They also have the option for you to use up to a 20 second timer, which is the longest delay to a video start compared to TikTok, which has 10 seconds and Instagram Reels, which only has three seconds. Just like its competitors, Shorts have the speed feature where you can film in slow motion or speed up footage as well. In terms of gaining a following from YouTube Shorts, if you already have a subscriber base, this may be easier for you. This is because as well as turning up on the Shorts shelf, Shorts appear in subscription feeds. So if you already have subscribers, the chances are they may watch your Shorts because they will turn up in their subscription feeds. And another reminder, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when we upload Shorts to this channel. YouTube recently announced the YouTube Shorts Fund, which is a $100 million fund to help creators who make shorts. Although shorts are monetizable in the normal YouTube sense, the Shorts Fund allows any creator with any amount of subscribers and watch time to earn some money. The only downside is that you are not guaranteed to earn money from the fund. There are a few rules that may restrict you from earning money from the Shorts Fund, but I'll leave a link to a blog post that YouTube made in the description below if you want to go read up more about it. Also, don't forget that if you make a TikTok to a viral TikTok song and then want to re-upload it to YouTube Shorts, as well as having the watermark TikTok logo on the video, the video may also be demonetized and cause a copyright strike. Now, although this doesn't affect your channel too much, it does mean that the video may become monetized by the original artist or record label and also makes you ineligible for the YouTube Shorts fund for that particular video, no matter how popular and viral it becomes. <laughs> And that's our guide to TikToks, Reels and Shorts to help you figure out which platform is best for you. I hope this video has helped you figure out which platform you want to post your content to. Once you have filmed your TikTok, Reel or Short, don't forget you can use Veed, the online video editor, to help you edit your videos. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out and you can sign up for free today. Feel free to follow us on all three forms of social media, the links will be in the description. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. And for more content creation tips, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.